Okay, so I skipped a little bit because if I uh, kept recording and putting the wood up, it just wouldn't be pretty. So I just put up the wood without the camera. I'm sure you guys can deal with that. Um, yeah, so I, I, I fixed it how I like it. Um, just like that, I have like a TP arc, and I put the 20 gallon back on top of the ten, uh, the 55. Now you can see, um, this is a unique look that I like. Um, again, um, I'm gonna review everything when we put the hermit crabs back in, uh, real fast. But um, so real quick, I'm gonna actually review. Um, food, the food dish right there. I'm actually gonna put carrots in it. Carrots are good for carotene, so I highly recommend carrots. Do not buy commercial crab food. That stuff is not good for your crabs. Again, with painted shells, they're not good with your crabs. So do not buy those. Um, but I suggest carrots, lettuce, anything like that. Um, any meat that's un, uh, unlike, like there's no herbs or anything in it, just plain meat, you can put in there. Um, I'm going to be putting in freeze-dried plankton and chopped up carrots, um, because that's what I feed them. Um, another important fact that I did not put in yet is the cuddle bone. Um, this is a cuddle bone. You could buy it in the bird aisle of a fish section. Uh, the, bir the bird aisle of fix fish section. No, the bird aisle. Um, these are for birds, but they're great for hermit crabs, too. It's basically pure calcium, and hermit crabs do need calcium, some kind of calcium source. Um, and usually out in the wild, they'll be eating grass or something, and gr grass has calcium. But because they can't, because, like, in the tank, you don't have grass, and you don't have a calcium sort in, uh, source in the soil, so you have to feed them a calcium block, such as a cuddle bone. And when they're hungry, they'll realize that this is um, calcium, and they, they kind of know that. I don't know how, but they know that. Um, so th you'll constantly see them eating these. Mine always winds up cracked up everywhere. Um, I'm just going to lay mine right up here just because I don't want mine winding up in the saltwater dish like it has multiple times um, when I leave it at the bottom. Saltwater freshwater must be as deep as your crab so that they can completely submerge. Um, Substrate two times as deep, cocoa fiber or sand or mix. Uh, wood, such as apple tree branches, uh, crab apple tree branches, oak tree branches, and uh, driftwood are perfect for hermit crabs, all untreated. Um, I'm going to go through what hermit crabs like in shells. Ro any kind of um, hiding space, rock, plastic, whatever, is perfect. Same for water dishes and food dishes, rock, plastic, whatever. Um, uh, hiding places and plants are very good for hermit crabs as well. Um, you can store all your shells in the shell shop if you'd like or not. Um, yeah, I think that's basically it. Humidity needs to say 70. Um, temperature needs to say 70. Both can be raised or lowered depending um, for a short period of time, depending on how hardy your crabs are. Most likely they can be. Um, sorry about that. Um, so I'm going to be putting my crabs in now. Um, always make sure you have a lid on top. I suggest... You can use plexiglass and stick holes in it or whatever, but if you have aerators, you most likely don't need holes because the aerators will cause circulation. But um, make sure that you have a lid on top of your tank and make sure you have a weight holding down the lid or a clamp because hermit crabs will get out. I've found that out the hard way. So I'm going to show you the hermit crabs. I'm sorry, it's a little bit messy. I'll fix this up later. Um, all my hermit crabs all waiting for me. Um... Right, so here's all the crabs. Right here. Okay. Okay, there they are. Uh, I probably just like destroyed all of them. Um, anyway, I'm just gonna take these guys and you can just set them in. Oh my god. These guys are nuts. Set them in however you like. Actually, I'm just going to dump them all in. You should probably do a head count of all your crabs before you do any kind of renovations in your hermit crab tank. Just because it's better. Okay. Now, they have shells, so they will be fine if you dump them. Not from a high distance, though. Like this is fine. Oh, like I said, I wanted to point out how many uh, crabs are in turbo shells, any type of turbo shell. So you can see purple pincher, turbo, 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 rapple whelks. Look at all those rapple whelks. Um, so like I said, 
very, very popular shell, and you can see he's going right in the water. I think he's going to realize it's cold, because it's a little bit cold, that water. Yeah, he's like, oh. Oh, wow. They're all nuts. Okay, well, this is um, how you set up your hermit crab tank. I hope you enjoy this video.